remarkably broke the uh, the run of gains we had, a, a big fall of about one and a half percent. After four consecutive days of gains, we have seen a loss of one and a half percent for the market. All sectors trading lower, and I've just got the intraday graph behind me, so you can see it's not a pretty looking graph. But the worst performing sector was the utility sector, and if I can bring up the 30-day chart for the utility sector, this is what it looks like. So you can see utilities have had a pretty good run up. They were in overbought territory, and we saw a sharp pullback today. The biggest thing about today's trading was the volume that was traded, extremely light volume. We only saw $4.4 billion worth of stock go through the market. Usually Friday is our biggest volume day, and instead this week it was the second worst volume day this week. One of the things that the market is concerned and sidelined about is the non-farm payroll numbers coming out of the U.S. tonight. But not only that, we do see a long weekend in the U.S., so markets aren't back till Tuesday in the United States. And the New York Times also breaking uh, news that the, US, um, that the U.S. financial stocks may be in focus tonight because because the Federal Housing Finance Agency looking to uh, lay claims against around about a dozen large banks in the U.S. So a lot of concern about that U.S. session tonight, and I think that kept both investors and traders sidelines, and unfortunately a loss of 1.5%. Obviously, uh, a few issues, big swings on, on equity markets. Quite often, the, the focal point tends to be the financials. Do you think this has the potential to act as a catalyst for those sorts of movements? Well, given that we've just been through the global financial crisis, it's not... Um, it's not surprising to see these legal claims now pop up towards the financials, those involved in those mortgage securities, which is what we were seeing. We did see the Federal Housing Finance Agency putting a claim against uh, UBS earlier on in the year for $900 million, and now they're filing against about a dozen uh, U.S. Uh, banks. So if we have a look at the banks that they're, um, they're looking to file against, J.P. Morgan, uh, you're looking at Credit Suisse, uh, Bank of America, all the big ones out there. Now, the New York Times article saying that it could be as soon as tonight or after the long weekend in the U.S., so looking at Tuesday, it's probably going to be um, a short-term impact in terms of the financials, but given the environment and the concerns about Europe, it could just add to the uncertainty in the markets, especially around those financial stocks. Overnight in Europe, once again, we saw a Spanish auction, not a lot of demand there. They were aiming for 4 billion euros. Instead, they only got 3.6 billion euros. And of course, talk that Greece is not going to be able to meet its 2011 physical targets, which means that part of the bailout may be under a cloud there as well. Today from Bell Potter, a well-known uh, trader, I suppose, out there for, for his comments, putting a sell on Julia Gillard. Um, what did you make of that? I think uh, Tali Aiken, the managing director of Bell Potter, has come out with a short Gillard. And I guess if we have a look at the Labor government, they have been under quite a bit of a leadership cloud. We saw Kevin Rudd um, being ousted by Julia Gillard. Julia Gillard today uh, rejecting claims that she was going to look at stepping down. And of course, Kevin Rudd himself uh, still recovering from a heart surgery. If we do see a change of leadership. It would be the third time that we've seen since 2007. But of course, a lot of the policies that have come about in terms of the mining sector, carbon tax, as well as even in the telecom sector, has been quite quite deep stabilizing uh, for the share market overall. So I think if we do see uh, the possibility of an election, and certainly some of the betting companies are shortening their odds for a, 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 an election before 2013. In fact, the best, the lowest odds seem to be, um, uh, the, mo the biggest probability seems to be for an election in the first half of 2012. If we do see an election, um, I think Charlie Aiken was saying that we could see an immediately uh, a 5% positive impact on the market. And if we see a change of government, a 10% impact. But I guess if we have a look overall, um, the telecom sector, the mining sector being very much in focus because that issue has been in the spotlight uh, for for the share market. And um, I guess in terms of which companies, well, we've seen Telstra, OneStill and BlueScope being in the spotlight this week.